Get live coverage and schedules for your favorite tournaments. Strength. Everything esports. Download now on iOS and Android. Yeah, this this would be Gimgoon's Mordekaiser. You know, he has certainly played this quite a bit in the LPL, so that would make it uh, very likely, you know, a mid Scion. It, it is possible this is Scion support, Galio mid, so there is. Yeah, Hana picks it up, gets a little bit of XP for himself to keep up with this Elise, but otherwise, look at top lane. It's They know Akali's walking back go. to mid. Misses the pull, but it's still a 3v1. Big damage under the NAR, not close to Mega at all. And the minion wave actually pulled off. This is actually really well done, but the stun's still going to land. They've got the damage up, but first blood comes to Gimgoon, and out they walk. And this is what I'm talking about. numbers advantage. He comes in to fight the bottom lane, and now it's just, yeah, on the back side is J-Team not going to try to steal it. There's the spike coming through. Fun play. You see J-Team wanting to play through the bottom lane. Harold summoned very quickly to want to make sure Lilby gets the gold here in this one. Should take at least two plates. A little bit of injury on that turret. Han is going to share a little bit of it here as well, but now there could be a fight in the river, and it's not going to be anyone getting the plate gold, but there's still a fight going across. Giant knockup, Koala's going extinct now. Takes him out, and that's going to be this Herald. FDX. On the flip side, it's kind of a win more asset right now for J Team, because they're going to be the team sitting in that 1 3 1 for the longer period. Attempt for the Cloud Drake right now. Going to pull in. This could be Koala sacrificing himself just to prevent the smite, and he'll at least guarantee the Drake goes over to J Team. Stopwatch burned, and oh! The solo kill for Lil V. I'd be okay with that trade, but now the fight might continue. Galio over the top now as well. No knockups yet for Chris, but there's still the fight going in. They're going to knock down Hana finally, but it's traded back by Fofo. Now the fight can use towards Koala, but Chris doesn't have the damage. Lil V chasing him down. He flashes, but why? There's no way out. J Team take the fight three to genuine. 5v3 at the meaty end of that team fight. Yeah, it certainly is. And, and when you're looking at, you know, the strengths of Scion and Galio is a 10 for the invade finding, Hana. Oh, that's not going to be easy. Poor Jarvan taunted back in, and Tian grabs the goal into that one. Brings the game a little bit nicer for the It's a Deft or a Name style player. He's not known for his laning prowess. Sure, he'll get the shove in matchups he should. However, his late game and his skirmish. Just pointing out what the crowd has been doing because I'm perceptive. That's where all my stats are in. Now the TP comes in, going for the Infernal Drake. Galio waiting the back lines, waiting for his ultimate, his chance to join the spotlight. Has a thousand health over the wall, not gonna get that steal. Hana jumped right back out, but the fight's gonna come in anyway. Chris taking some damage, but first Koala goes down. One for zero so far. Lil V trying to run away. The trade though, it's gonna be a shutdown coming across the pool of the AD carry. Lil V still running, might have the root. They're gonna find the taunt onto nobody, but a stun on a Fofo. Nar picks up one already. This is still a chaotic battle back and forth, and there is Ghost mode. Gimgoon trying to chase down an Ahana. He's going to flash away and stay alive, but he's going to come right back out pretty soon. And Gimgoon is surrounded. Cannot quite find Lil V. Stopwatch by some time, but it's J Team winning the team fight. Knocking him right back in. Dorby going to drop down as well. The kill finally. They're going to Baron. Are you kidding me? J Team take the fight. The Yowl MS representative smash FBX in that team fight. Everything looked like it was FBX favored. You know, the fly into the back line from LW. The shotgun in full affair. No, he died to the bear and he took too much damage. There's no opposing smite. They should still be fine to knock down the Baron, but it's one less buff on the team. And everyone calm down because they're still going to be able to pick it up. <laughs> Flashless Koala that isn't ultimate off Lil V, so some important cooldowns are taken away from them. Oh, oh, oh he Koala missed has no flash, he's in trouble. Away. They know they can kill him, and that's the damage coming across. They will drop the Nautilus, but will there be the re-engage? 4v5, does J Team take the fight, or do they just turn tail and run? And that's going to be the option. Get away. Don't bleed any more kills. Yeah, and that pick, that mistake from Koala, he had no flash. He had no business being that far over there. It is going to be up to Hana to try to steal this now and prevent a third he Infernal. He doesn't find the smite. That's going to be the kill picked up yet again. So triple Infernal for Fun Plus. Still fighting back. Low here as well. So dangerous situation for this LMS representative. No flash for the Jarvan. They only have to watch the EQ. They find Fofo. Half HP takes the heal. So look at the fight though. Half HP on Baron though. They're still hitting it. Half the team is stuck in the pit as J Team can corral them in and look for the fight. Here comes Galio over the top. Who is going to land the spike for this one as the fight goes to the front side as well? Doyen B taking a lot of damage. Very, very tanky. 1800 on the Baron and they're not killing it. Fofo finds the kill. He's alone in the pit. If he can find his jungler, they can do it. J Team picking up the kill. They pick up the Baron against Trippy. Yeah, I think they can. 
Looks like at least the inhibitor will see if they can take down the game as well. Five seconds on the Galio, another 10 on the Elise. They're gonna try, they're right there. They hook on in. Toynbee is very tanky, the turns an FHP. The Meganar, he's gonna try to pick up one. They will knock down one, but the fight continues. Fofo very low, Lil V almost drops as well. The taunt in for Galio, but the turrets are gone. Can they win the team fight? Here comes LWX. But here's the squad, LWX. Armed to the teeth, trying to take down. Does grab Koala. Damage towards the next, but it will be survival. Survival for Fun Plus Phoenix. Yeah, they will live for at least one more fight. Rest now going to be chased out as well. More gold funneled into the Kaiser. However, open next. So the Elder is up, and that's Triple Infernal. If you grab the Elder for that, that is going to be insane. They're TPing in for it, and it will be a force. 5,000 gold difference. Baron buff on one member, as we're going to see this fight break out right now. Triple Infernal, of course, still a lot of stats. We'll see. Nice stun comes in for Doinby. It's going to be Lil B forced back. Backwards, has to get away, does stay alive, no knockups there, but a million damage takes down LWX. A second kill coming across as well. Fun plus Phoenix in a two versus five. You have to believe they can't do it, as now the kills keep coming through. J Team just destroying everyone they possibly can. There's no Nexus turrets available. There are no champions left alive. The biggest upset of the day, you have to believe. And it was supposed to be the easy group for them, but J Team are going to beat them. What an incredible result. J Team takes down Fun Plus Phoenix. And around key objectives, the LPL representative force team fights, and J Team won every single one of them. And I, I honestly can't even remember the last time I saw a team with Triple Infernal lose the game. Triple Infernal is, is generally an, an insurmountable lead. Not only did they lose, they lost with that. And this is an FBX that just did not look like they were ready to play here against J-Team. And I'm so sorry I called LWX Name because I haven't seen an 80 carry. <laughs>